Welcome back to the Mod Attic. I hope this finds you blessed and not stressed. And uh, we're going to take on a little project or two or three that, uh, yeah, needs to be done. I don't necessarily want to do them, but let's check them off that list. Well, welcome back to the Mod Attic. So today I'm on my 90LX here. I got a few little odd and end things I want to do. One is relatively new. The horn stopped working. I don't know if the horn is dead or if it's something in the steering column or what, but uh, I have no horn. So I want to get that figured out because uh, I definitely want that. All right, so this is the connector. See, it goes to the power side here. Now this would go to the other horn. You're supposed to run like a high horn and a low horn to get the right tone. But uh, I ran a clamp from the power wire to here. I'm just going to touch the end and see if it beeps. And uh, I don't know if the horn works or not. Doesn't appear. Let's see. Nope. The horn itself is not working. Huh. Very odd. Alright, well. Sucks, but the horn is bad. Um, at least I know it's it's that and not a wiring issue. Uh, it did just one day it was working and the next day it wasn't. So I don't know. This was pretty corroded. I cleaned it off, but it still don't work. So I took it apart and looked. Still don't work. <sighs> so need a new horn. So other than that, we can move on to the next thing. Um, I'm going to repair my dash with a trick that I've seen. So I just had to show you all this. So this car's previously been wrecked. That's why they two bring the front end, even though they said it was never wrecked. Um, see, it's cracked here. It's cracked over here. Well, these was broke off. Uh, I found one of them attached to the bezel still, and it fit right in. So I put it in and super glued it, and I used a trick where you put baking soda on it. I've seen it online, never used it. But as soon as you put that baking soda on there, that's hard as a brick. I can wiggle this. It wiggles the dash and not this piece that's broke over here. I did the same thing. This thing is solid. That's just super glue and baking soda. I'm pretty, uh, pretty shocked. I really am. Now, I can have screws in it. And this thing is tight. Before, I could barely touch it and it would fall and hit certain well. It was not a good setup. But now it's on here. And now this fits up here really nice and tight versus before where it would just fall down. Super glue and baking soda. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty daggum good trick. So I guess now would be the time to address, um, I guess, the proverbial elephant in the room. Questions I've been asked. No, I did not make it to Mustangs at Daytona. This is the first year that I have been MIA for Mustangs at Daytona. Last year, I couldn't bring the Mustang, but I still showed up. Darius and Lindsay showed up. They couldn't make it this year. I still had plans on going, but nothing worked out. So this year, I was completely MIA from the uh, the show. I, I wasn't there a single day. So. Uh, pretty bummed out, but I'm already looking forward to next year, and uh, that gives me an entire year to, to get this car exactly how I want it and going down the road. It already runs and drives around, but um, I need to fill it up and drive it a lot more to see what issues are gonna show its head before I try to take it on a three and a half, four hour trip across Florida where I don't have, you know, nobody's gonna come rescue me. I don't have people like that. If I broke down, there's nobody's gonna show up and rescue me. So uh, yeah, I gotta make sure that I have uh, everything planned out, mapped out and it just, it just wasn't in the books this year. That's all right, though. It's all right. Like I said, it gives me a whole year now to get this thing uh, straightened out. And uh, hopefully it won't be long. But, yeah, I, that dash was bothering me. I had to get that fixed. The horn, I, I just noticed the other day it was not working. And uh, it seemed like it was just a random thing, which I thought maybe I messed up something because I took the column off and put it back on. But I hooked the wire directly to the battery and it don't beep it don't do anything so the horn's already out which that horn is not very old i don't think but uh with it being in the elements and stuff it's probably not going to be warranted so i might uh 
kind of partial to the Uga horn. I might get another Uga horn. I might get something else, but we'll see. But um, while this uh, passenger seat's out, I do want to get that panel removed, get some of this pulled back, and get some more sound deadening under there and uh, help quiet down things a little bit more. I mean, it's, it's already pretty good, but, you know, it can always be better. So I did see some light uh, surface rust. I took a wire brush and uh, hit it and I hit it with some paint and I'll go back over it again. It just really light like that's from when the previous uh, owner had it. These seals leaked. So all that's been replaced. And uh, now if you notice, there's a little bit of sound dead in up here and that stuff, but there's none back here. So I'll definitely put some here. I don't want to cover the bolt hole. So I'm just going to do like that section, maybe a little strip through here. And uh, I might add a strip or two up there just to add on to that. But I don't think it really needs a ton. But back here is where the mufflers and stuff are. So I definitely want to put some down there and uh, hopefully get some of that sound knocked down. But like I said, still got some cleaning up to do. All right. One thing to remember is it does not have to cover every square inch. So is it going to protect it a little bit more yeah but what i'm trying to do i don't need every square inch covered now there's a plug there like if your floorboard fills up you can punch that out everything will pour out i didn't want to plug that i didn't want to cover that so i went around that did my strips it's already much more i should have did a before and after sound test but trust me like i did one on the roof i think solid so now i can use the supplied roller again this is the recoil sound deadening kit and uh, I can put it all down. And then, um, like I said, I think we'll put maybe a little patch up there and we'll be good to go. And all I did up there is just uh, spare pieces I had from doing the trunk and stuff. I just put it up there. It don't need to be perfect again. And it's going over the top of the other sound deadener. So it's not like I, it was needed. I just added it for added protection. All right, well, got it uh, vacuumed up. When I flipped the carpet up, it put sand everywhere. So I can get the seat belt uh, put back in and start vacuuming up the front and uh, put this panel back on and uh, we'll uh, got to put the kick panel back on. We'll be good to go. Um, one of the things I'm just dying at, these door panels are just, I'm so tired of them. This bowing out down here in the corner, they just, they're flimsy. My God, I cannot wait. My plan is to go with some LRBs. I hope to one day get some LRB door panels. Um, not saying Scott Rod ain't nice. I was looking at Scott Rod, but I don't see any listing anywhere for Scott Rods that allow you to use your uh, electric windows and door locks. So it only uses roll up. It's the only one I've seen. Maybe I'm missing something, but regardless, that's how it is. So I need to uh, see what I can get cleaned up in here finish putting this together. I'll probably leave the passenger seat out for a little bit longer just because I got some other projects to do. But for now, sound deadening is under there. Uh, there was no sound deadening, which I thought for sure there would be factory sound deadening like there was in the front, but there is none. So I think that'll help out quite a bit because, like I said, that's the area of the mufflers. That's where you're going to get a lot of resonation. The mufflers dump like right here. So that reverberance of sound, big word there, um, is going to be in that general area so that sound deadening will help the driver's side i'm gonna wait till i'm on that side of course because i'm trying to do one side and move on to the other but uh got uh, some issues to to worry about but making progress progress is a process right so yeah sometimes progress isn't the fun stuff sometimes progress is taking care of the little odds and ends that need to be done. Sometimes progress is doing something that you know you should do it now instead of waiting till later. And that's what the sound deadening is. I could have put the seats in and did all this other stuff and then later said, oh, I sure wish when I had the seats and everything out, I would have put that sound deadener in. So rather than live in regret, I uh, went ahead and did it. And like I said, it don't have to cover the whole floor. It don't have to be perfect. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, when I get the seats bolted in, you know, it should be a lot quieter in there. And that's all I'm going for. This is a cruiser. Um, I started out as a drag car. My last car was a street car that I tried to turn into a drag car. Now this is a drag car that I'm trying to turn into a street car. <sighs> I'm all over the place. I really am. But uh, yeah, 
again, recoil audio with a sound deadener. I have used it everywhere I can. I love this stuff. Uh, Got to get a new horn. And what do y'all think of the uh, the TikTok hack with the uh, super glue and the uh, baking soda? I did a lot of research, and apparently it holds up very well, even in heat and stuff. So if it breaks, it's not a huge deal. I'm back at the place where I started. If it, you know, uh, something else I wanted to cover, like with that horn, I took it apart. If it didn't work, I took it apart and couldn't fix it. I haven't lost anything, but I learned what the inside of a horn looks like. Never did that before. So you can't be afraid to venture off into something because it might not work um, when it comes to cars, especially if it's already broke. Take it apart if it's already broke. You might be able to fix it. You might find out why it's broke. You might find out how it works. There's a hundred different things that you could see. But if you're like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to take it apart because what if, what if I mess it up? It's already messed up. So anyway, um, I do have some aesthetic things I want to do. I did it on my 97, so I'll be doing this soon. Uh, a lot of people call me a ricer for this. Uh, one guy replied on my 97, it's bad enough you got a GT, but then you go and rice it out. And what was it you ask? Ambient floor lighting. Open the door. The lights light up underneath the dash so you can see the footwell and see if you're stepping on anything. But apparently that was way too much rice for this old dude. And I'm 40, so I could just imagine his mentality. But yeah, I got called a ricer. He, uh, he wasn't happy with having a way to see when the doors open up. But yeah, I am definitely doing that to this car regardless. Call me a ricer if you want to. I actually want underglows. I've always wanted them. I've never had a set. But I've always wanted a set. I might do it on this. It, it was a big thing at, uh, what was it, Chocolate Fox or something last year. There was a ton of underbody lights. They even have a lighting class now. So, who knows? I might add some to this car. I might do it to the Outlander. I don't know. Point is, don't be afraid to do what you want to do to your car. And don't be afraid to experiment. Especially, like, this car is not a daily driver. I'd like it to get there. But until then, I'm not going to be afraid to do something because, oh, the car is going to be down. I have another vehicle. I'm just rumbling at this point. Uh, thank you all for joining in. Again, this is the Mod Attic. This is Horseplay, my 90LX. And we are out of here. Turn around, I done made it this far Look back now, that wouldn't be too smart Shoot for the stars even when it gets hard Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around, I done made it this far Look back now, that wouldn't be too smart Shoot for the stars even when it gets hard Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around I won't, I won't turn around I